Hi everyone and welcome to Morning Coffee Break. I hope everybody's doing good. It's cold. It's Monday, March 20th. Currently it's 26 degrees. High today is 49. Uh, no chance of precipitation and winds at 3 miles per hour. I'm glad it's not too windy as cold as it is. But the grass won't be growing like that. It's going to warm up again in the next few days. Okay, today there will be a Kroger haul. Uh, it's got some fantastic Ibotta uh, rebates that we got. And what did I do with that? Okay, I'm looking for something. Here we go. Yeah, it's got some really good uh, Ibotta rebates. I think I had a couple, uh, might have been digital coupons too. It was several days ago we, we did it, but check it out and you know this i bought a thing you can really save some money i forget how much i've got back from them since i started it's i think it's about 700 dollars now or something like that and i've not been actually going crazy with it i just try to get stuff that we uh, need or something that we really really would like to try or something like that you know so um i'll put that in my uh uh description if you'd like to check it out from with my referral code and i bought as great fetch and receipt hog is the three i use um so uh we've got the million views giveaway going on now hashtag million views giveaway and <coughs> if you'd like to see what's in the prize pack and it's a nice one check out the video that the thumbnail is of sasquatch saying giveaway time it's giveaway time i think is what he's saying uh, check it out and you'll be able to see what's in it and but if you'd like to uh enter in any video you can but either in this one or the one that, where i show the prize pack but i thought i'd go over the the giveaway rules um uh you, you must be subscribed to our channel of course and you must be 18 years old or older to enter it's only available in the U.S. We're sorry about that. YouTube has nothing to do with our giveaway. Uh, in your comment, put hashtag million views giveaway to enter, all one word. We're not responsible for the prize package once it's shipped and out of my hands. The giveaway started uh, this past Saturday, the 18th, and the winner will be picked this coming Saturday on the 25th. Uh, if the winner doesn't contact us in 48 hours, we'll have to pick another winner. So, good luck, everybody, and make sure you enter. Um, okay. Yeah, there's a Kroger haul. Over the rules. Um, we had, uh, last night, we had corn dogs and tater tots. And, um... Well, I tell you what, those from, uh, these were Brian, they're pretty good, but them from the last time we got them, we got them from Aldi, and I'll tell you what, they are not the same. Uh, if they are, I don't know what they've done to them, because the, the cornbread on the outside stuff tastes the same, but it's the hot dog inside that seemed to be, it might be smaller, I'm not for sure. You know about that it's been a while since we had them but all i know is it was rubbery like and it just didn't have that great of a taste to it it didn't taste spoiled or anything it really to me i mean we've had those corn dogs quite a few times and we've always liked them all three of us said the same thing these these are not the same so i don't know if they've got a cheaper hot dog or what they've done but we won't be buying the corn dogs there anymore mm -mm. nope nope Okay, um, we were supposed to have the pizza and salad last night. That got changed around. Um, so I guess we're going to have that tonight, the pizza and salad for Monday. Okay, I've got a taste test today, a morning coffee break taste test. And it's these, you've seen the thumbnail, I'm sure. Can't really miss it. Uh, strawberry. Swiss rolls. I love the regular Swiss rolls. I've always liked them. We don't, we used to get little Debbie's cakes all the time. Um, you know, we'd have three or four boxes of them, but we don't hardly ever get them now, unless it's something like this we want to try. Uh, you know, or like a holiday one or something like that. 
um, or a limited one. I don't know if this is going to be limited or not, but um, I thought I'd try them and see what they were like. Um, I don't expect the nutrition facts to be that uh, amazing. <coughs> they were two twenty nine at Grocery Outlet. They've got a little Debbie uh, little shelf area, you know, shelf like three foot by four foot or something. They got a place that he puts them on there. They're, they're all fresh and everything. So anyway, if you eat two of them, which I'm just going to eat one, and uh, it's 280 calories, though, if you eat two. Uh, it's got 15% of total fat, 30% of saturated. I expect that with chocolate. Um, no trans fat. Uh, 3% of cholesterol. 6% of sodium. 15% of carbs. 4% of fiber, it's got 54% of sugars, 2 grams of protein, and it's got 8% of iron. So, let's see. I don't think Little Debbie's can get any smaller anymore. They're, they're so small now, come on. I mean, I mean, I... You know the size that's in the big box now, and they're bigger? That's about the way they were when they first came out. That's about how big they were, really. I mean, that they've gotten to where they're just, I mean, this is, dee -dee -dee -dee. I mean, come on. That, that's way small from what it used to be, I'm telling you. Hmm. It's not bad. It's fresh. I mean, something brand new. <laughs> At least that's one thing about it. I wish it were a little bigger. Okay. Do the coffee test with them. I'm seeing if my bird was out there. Good with coffee. It's not a It's not a strong taste of, of strawberry, but it, it tastes good. And it can, I can, I can tell it tastes like strawberry, but not real strong. But that, it's probably good though. Um, wow. They're um, actually better kind of than I thought they would be. I really like the, the, the taste, the, the way they taste. I mean, I'm going to give the way they taste a five because uh, they're they're super fresh, and uh, sometimes I mean, always look at your dates on on them. Uh, you know, you got some some drivers that would rotate everything really good, and some of them might not. So I always check my dates. Um, what speaking of dates, I'm just curious now what this one says. April 7th, that's plenty of time. So anyway, you want to get the freshest ones you can. I mean, uh, for one thing, but I can't give those nutrition facts more than a three. And that's, you know, that's a little, not a stretch, but I mean, uh, the calories for two small little things like that, you know, uh, 280, and you're looking at, the total fat's not terrible at 15%, but the the saturated fat, anything with chocolate especially, you're gonna you're gonna probably get close to that figure of 30% or more. Um, but never, nevertheless, it's still uh, saturated fat. <coughs> the cholesterol is not too bad, 3%. Sodium's not really bad. Carbs, 15% for you know something that. 
small or you know you might eat a lot more during the day and end up with more carbs if you eat something here and there <clears throat> um fiber i'm kind of surprised it has any fiber in it and then you got to look at the sugars you know uh, even even if i just ate one it's still uh 27 percent so 54 percent for one snack mm, you probably wouldn't have much room to eat a lot of we're trying to keep our sugar as low as possible without actually going to the extreme of saying no sugar at all. You know, we're not we're not looking at sugar and things that are like, you know, a, a, a food, a different food item like lunch meat or something. You know what I'm saying? We don't look at everything to see if there's sugar in it. But um, yeah, I can't give that more than let's say a three on that, as, but a five on taste. They taste really good. They really do. Um, so get you some of them before I don't know if they'll have them it doesn't really say I don't think it says like limited edition or anything it doesn't really okay so we got some today's tidbits and here we go scientists find way to generate power from thin air soil bacteria can use hydrogen traces in air as an energy source when no food is available they remove 70 million tons of hydrogen annually, impacting air composition. Researchers recently isolated an enzyme that allows bacteria to extract energy from hydrogen, producing an electric current, which may power air devices as published in Nature. Wow, that would be nice. And I, I don't know, I imagine this is supposed to be the church, but you never know, sometimes they just use stock photos. I keep hiccuping, y'all. Sorry. Uh, stock photos, you know. So anyway, this church, it says, drowned 11th century church for merge due to drought in Spain. So I don't know if that's the actual one. You'd think it'd be in rougher shape than that. But it says, in Catalonia, the ruins of an 11th century church have reappeared due to Spain's months-long drought. When a dam was built nearby in the 1960s, the Romanesque church, consecrated in 1062, was flooded. Fishermen pulled tons of fish from the drained reservoir as visitors enjoyed seeing the church for the first time in 50 years. Hmm. Massive buildup of seaweed starts to wash ashore in Florida. Yuck. In Florida, a massive buildup of brown seaweed has begun to wash ashore. The Florida Health Department said this seaweed is not harmful to people but can lead to impacts. Aside from an icky odor, tiny animals living in the sargassum can produce rashes and blisters. Larger amounts will wash offshore in the late spring and early summer. Okay. Let's see. There's some nice news. I see where Big Lots had a, oh, this is already over with, so. Sometimes they have free stuff, but you know, it's never really anything very big. It looks like they had Dr. Teal's hand soap uh, for free for the weekend. Okay, where am I? Well, what did I do? I, I know I saw it. Oh, I know what happened. I think I already. Sorry. It's taking. There it is. Sometimes it's hard to find. Okay, this might be interesting. Women making history. Air Force pilot flies supersonic plane while pregnant. Major Lauren Ohm wears multiple hats. She's an Air Force pilot and assistant director of operations for the 77th Weapons Squadron, a wife and mom-to-be. She's also making history as one of the first service members to fly a supersonic aircraft while pregnant. Becoming a pilot was a lifelong dream for Lauren, so when she and her husband, fellow service manor, member Major Mark Ohm, found out they'd be welcome a welcoming a child this April it's too small uh, she wanted to continue flying as long as it deemed safe 
Uh, it's a very personal decision that Mark and I made together because there are risks involved in flying a B-1 while pregnant. But after conferring with Air Force and civilian medical doctors, we felt comfortable with me flying for a few weeks, she said. She was able to do thanks to a recent policy, policy change allowing pilots to voluntarily request to fly while pregnant. Okay. Wow, this world-famous bonsai tree is almost 400 years old and survived Hiroshima. Wow. Under the right conditions, bonsai trees can live for over 100 years, some even reaching 1,000. One in particular among the oldest is nearly 400 years old and has endured a nuclear explosion. On August 6, 1945, bonsai master Masaru Yam Yamaki was at home when a U.S. B-29 bomber, the Enola Gay, dropped the world's first atomic bomb over Hiroshima, Japan, during World War II. He lived just two miles from ground zero. Despite the catastrophe, which eventually took over 100,000 lives, Yamaki, his family, and their bonsai tree all survived. He was two miles from ground zero and survived? Oh, my goodness. Um, one of them now lives in the National Bonsai and Pinjing Museum, part of the U.S. National Arbitorium in Washington, D.C. The tree was planted in 1625, meaning it's, nearly, it's nearing its 400th birthday. It was gifted by Yamaki in 1976, although the tree's true history remained unknown until 2001 when two of his grandsons visited D.C. to see it. Wow. Okay, let's see if we can find a um, quote. Here's one. This one's from Madeline Albright. It took me quite a long time to develop a voice, and now that I have it, I am not going to be silent. All right, that's great. Okay, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this morning's coffee break. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. I hope everybody has a great day. Definitely check out the Kroger haul with the fantastic Ibotta rebates later on. And everybody have a great day and God bless.